check out the interviews. Now, Derek, you had an opportunity this last Thursday to be a double nominee at the HMMA Awards. What was that like? Well, it's pretty amazing, you know, uh, just to be recognized is one thing, but then to be in two categories was pretty profound. You know, we work hard at what we do and we work with a lot of artists, uh, remixing their original tracks and putting our take on it. What were the pieces? Uh, th well, let me tell you, uh, Degree Zero is one of my pseudonyms. Uh, and uh, with that, it was Best Electronic Techno. The remix is actually uh, Monkier of Hash Heads with my brother and myself. And we remixed Katie Z's Beautiful Disaster. That was for Best Dance. And actually, the Fly, going back to Degree Zero, it was the Fly Delusion mix is actually the, the piece for the Best Electronic Techno. So, you know, I've put out compilations where I've used other names and pseudonyms and stuff and it's all ran under my label in Bark Music. So You also go by Dr. Dre, I understand. <laughs> Heavy D, yeah, some of my <laughs> buddies call me Heavy D, you know, but uh, no, I mean, you know, we make beats uh, for the electronic world, underground, and pop, you know. Dance is big in Billboard right now and, and, and popular music. It's kind of done the crossover and it's not as Disney as everybody thought it would be, you know. It's pretty UK. It's, uh, you really have to know, know the ground, you know, to uh, infuse the sounds of the underground, if you will. <laughs> wow, poetic. Now, now I remember I actually used to go to a lot of house and trance clubs back in the early 2000s, and it was huge out in LA, like Studio City, City Industry, I mean, it was off the hook. And now I'm back in that world because all the sizzle reels I ever do for any event has to be done in those beats, and it has to be specific. I was talking to my director of photography about how I need those sharp beats for the kind of sizzle that's popular right now for VH1 and MTV. Has that brought you guys more work as far as that kind of uh, yeah. world? Yeah, it's on, you know, the, what you're speaking on is, is, is the grid structure. I mean, it's a lot easier to, uh, when you're working with editing film Absolutely. and stuff, especially to be able to know a tempo and even know a key for that matter and to, uh, you know, be able to relate those to what you're doing and editing and, and hitting points and, you know, for spotting and everything that you do. I mean, it's, it's super important. And what we do is uh, we represent artists. We don't charge money. We split fees in half. We work with the biggest production companies and supervisors in Hollywood. So we really know a lot about what they're looking for and how to pitch to them and really how to make artists money. And that's really being an artist at the core, being raised by a musician father, you know, knowing artists and knowing how they work, you know, it, it, it all relates. And you'd be surprised, um, you know, some of my favorite music is, is old blues, Robert Johnson, Willie Dixon, these kinds of guys that it's authentic, it's captured. And you know, if you try to bring that essence of music into electronic music, you get a real organic sound. And that's really what we work, work on doing. There's a lot of guys out the DJ, they kind of know what works on the floor, but they'll throw a lot of samples and stuff together. And, and it's about building your own samples. It's about knowing engineering. Um, I worked as an engineer. My brother who works with me and my writing partner, he's the engineer and worked in major studios, won a Dove Award. Uh, you know, he's done a lot of things, mastered a lot of projects. And you know, for electronic music to stay relevant and become a, a, a full-on source of music and not just a fad. It has to have more of a musicality to it. And that's what we work on, melodic structures. Even though there's mix-ins and mix-outs for DJs, because DJs want mix-ins and mix-outs when they're live. We do that, but we don't stay so structured then past those things. Right. You know, you gotta be able to lock to a mix. Within that, there's a lot of melodic things that can happen and changes that may not be the status quo with respect to the genre. It makes for great music. And so so there's a lot of things at work and it's really something that America started to accept. They lo America loves vocals. They want to sing along in the car, you know? Everybody does. It's just about like classical jazz, all these other type of genres, just respecting the artists that make it and what they do. And once you start to realize what's put behind it, you can really uh, relate to it and find how it works for you and then uh, really enjoy the music. That's, well, that's so doing. awesome. I got to congratulate you on your double nomination and, and, you know, just good luck on your ventures, brother. Thank you so much. And looking sharp, man. Looking sharp.